So a Minnesota man has a deep-rooted connection to one of the state's most beautiful historic landmarks. It led him to a job that he never imagined having and another passion he discovered because of it. So Derek James and photojournalist Ben Harper traveled to two harbors to get his story. They're like, what do you do? Is, is it magical? Is it awesome? And I'm like, well, yeah, it's awesome, but I don't do what people think I do all the time. Hey, That's Scriven right. is talking about his job site manager of one of Minnesota's most iconic landmarks. When did your relationship with the lighthouse begin? <laughs> How far back do you want to go? <laughs> as far back as you'll take us. My parents always said that there was a visit that we did in 1985 here, and there's a picture of me, like a tiny little haze, uh, in front of the lighthouse. Scriven's wife, Jenny, says it was when he proposed to her on nearby Day Hill. His official connection to the Split Rock Lighthouse on Lake Superior's North Shore was cemented in November of 2019. That's when he replaced longtime keeper Lee Radzak, who retired after 36 years. I manage the day-to-day -day operations of the site. I oversee all of the operations of, the, of our program, of the gift shop, of the facility maintenance. He also excitedly shares the history of the lighthouse and marvels in its construction in the early 1900s. So they brought in everything by boat and up over the 120 foot cliff. They had to bring all that material up the cliff somehow and then build the system to bring everything up over it. Like his predecessor, Scriven, his wife and their two kids moved into the residence just a few hundred feet from the lighthouse. You know, we have 160,000 neighbors every year come by and say hi to us. Not long into his tenure at Split Rock, COVID hit. <laughs> That's when he picked up a camera. I used it as a way to cope you know, trying to go through lockdowns and try to keep myself busy. Um, you know, I had a lot to do here, but I also needed a, an escape. Photography became a source of comfort as Scriven honed his skills. In December 2020, on the night of the Edmund Fitzgerald beacon lighting, he took one of his favorite photos. It had just started to snow and all of a sudden the, the beam had stopped rotating because it's on, a, on a, a clockwork mechanism. And I took the shot. And I looked at oh, I didn't know the camera could do this. He continues to highlight not just Split Rock, but the entire North Shore in all four seasons. Sunrises and night skies, auroras galore. Inside the lantern room of the lighthouse, more evidence of history and beauty. And so it bends and reflects the light into the center bullseye. That's in there and that'll shine it out the 22 miles dual passions that find Hayes Scriven surrounded by dazzling light. I wouldn't trade this job for the world. One way to get your hands on some of Scriven's photography is to purchase one of his calendars. The 2025 calendar features scenes from Minnesota's North Shore and his travels to the Oregon coast. He also has one dedicated to the night sky. Both are available through his website. And Mike made a good point. Also probably want to check out his Instagram because those yeah. photos are just a small sample of what he's been able to do.